Hey Wayne, so one thing I want to know with your years of experience, when do you think is the right time to lower your prices for to gain a new customer? For example, yesterday you quoted a guy 160, he goes, can you do it for 120? In your opinion, would yeah. you have took that before? Honestly, it's all on where your pockets is at. Mm. I know if you take something, of course, you lower your, um, how do I put it? You lower yourself to where they're always gonna want that discount now. But on the other hand, I mean, if you're not busy like that and we're not all the time, then hey, you gotta do what works best for you. Of course, you can have a lot of people saying, don't do this, don't do that. But you, at the end of the day, it's gonna fall on you. So if you gotta take it and you need the money, take it. That doesn't, you know, infect everybody. I mean, with that person, he just might wanna just hook him up with that discount from now on. <laughs>
Hey, but one thing I noticed with a lot of detailers is that if you don't answer phone calls, the customers do not wait. They go to the next best thing. Yeah, they go down the list. Right? Yeah, that's how it goes. You call back, I call back 15 minutes later, oh, I already got somebody. Dang. That's why it's so urgent that you get to the call right then and there, because most people are looking for it now, because we live in a world that I want it and I want it now. When do you think is the appropriate time to give a discount to a customer? When you show up late, when they're not happy with the job, what would you say? I would say both things that you just listed. They're not happy with the job, mm -hmm. you show up late, a miscommunication, you didn't do a good job. It's multiple different uh, reasons why you should uh, give a discount to show them that you care versus just writing it off. Like, well, too bad. I explained it to you the best I could. You just didn't pay attention. <laughs> but I mean, that's gonna turn people off. They just gonna go to the next detailer. So I've been in multiple situations where I, you know, gave a discount, $50 off, 25 off, a free wash. Sometimes I've even walked away from a detail and given it to them for free. I've had some people chase me down like, no, no, take this money. Up. Nah, it's good, just take it, you know. And I've done that multiple times, you know. A lot of the times it don't be all, of course we're here to make money, but a lot of the times it's just like, it's not worth the headache of what they're complaining about. So, hey, just take it. I mean, I'm, I remember spending like 10 hours on the car and the lady's looking around the car, right? I drove, I took her to her uh, apartment complex, took her car back to the shop, cleaned it, spent 10 hours on it, brought it back to her. She looking at the car and she's like, I'm like, you like it? She pointed out one little thing. It was something on the back of her headrest. And she was just like, what's this? I don't like it. So I said, excuse me, ma'am, grab a towel, clean that up. I said, that disregards the whole detail from that one little spot. I just told her to take the detail. And I said, well, how much you think it's worth? And that detail was like, I believe like four or something. And uh, I said, how much is it worth? And she said, 200. And I just said, give me 200. I just walked off. But I ran across a friend that was walking in the apartments. Check this out. She walks by. Oh, hey, Wayne. I said, come here. Right during the little uh, debate we was having. I said, look at this car and tell me what the problem is. And be honest. She looked everywhere. She said, whoa, this thing look amazing. She's like, can I sign up for a detail? And I looked at the lady and I'm like, that's all I need to hear. And I gave her a card. She walked out. I ain't seen her in years since high school. So it was just funny. And then I said, just give me the 200. It's fine. All right, all right, all right. That's a wrap, you guys, with this detail. And uh, I want to know in the comments down below, how'd you handle this kind of situation that arise? Did you give a discount? They didn't like the detail. Did you give a discount when you was late? How do you handle your situations and circumstances? Drop it down in the comments. Y'all stay tuned for the next video. We out.